morning, everyone. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic, coming to you from North Carolina. Yeah, we've been uh, up in the mountains for a little bit, so we're starting our day here in North Carolina. How are all you beautiful viewers? And the rest of you, because I can't assume, right? <laughs> Let's have some fun, yeah. Not Hollywood, guys, but Brasstown. Brasstown, North Carolina. Not even our final state of the day here in North Carolina, but there's something across the street here. What'd I say? Home of the Possum Drop, y'all. North Carolina. Okay, I'll bite. There's nothing more North Carolina than an annual New Year's Eve Possum Drop, guys. Now, don't know if Jacob the Carpetbagger's ever been here. He probably has, but... Yeah, not a ball dropping on New Year's Eve, but a possum. We're here at Clay's Corner, possum capital of the world in beautiful downtown Brasstown, North Carolina. What does this sign say? There ain't no place like this place anywhere near this place, so this must be the place. Holy cow. Unfortunately, uh... Clay's Corner is no longer open in service, but yeah, 189 a gallon. It may have been closed for a little while here. This is also interesting, this little shack here. Uh, you are now entering the zone of lawlessness. Oh, that's interesting. You gotta watch out in North Carolina, guys. You gotta. Man, I need some of that propane, guys. I am out in the RV <laughs> and the river I don't know the name of the river, but look how dirty it is. We have gotten a lot of rain over the last few days here in this area. A lot of rain. Uh, I ran out of propane in the RV, the RV's main tank, uh, just to heat the RV. So my refrigerator is not running right now because I don't have any propane right now. I've got to find propane. That is my number one goal today. Got to get it. Got to get it in the RV. All right, don't let me down, North Carolina. Most tractor supplies. Uh, can pump propane, most of them. Uh, some of them can only pump them into cylinders. They can't, they, they're not certified to pump it into your RV. So this is a really sharp curve here. Okay, we'll figure this out. I may have to unhook the car to be able to fit if they even have propane here. Uh, also, if they don't, if they can't fill the RV, I will fill up my cylinder uh, in an emergency, in a pinch. I can, I can run that to feed the rest of the stuff in the RV off a main cylinder. It's just inconvenient and I can't do it while, while driving. I have to be parked. Guess what? They don't. Wait. They do. They do. I'm going to go ahead and pull in here and unhook Tater Tot because you got to back into a tight little squeeze there. I'm trying to get as straight as I can. Right there. Yep. Cool. Okay. I'm going to unhook the car. I went inside and asked. The lady at the counter looked at me and said, absolutely not. We do not fill RV tanks that are on board. I'm all right, I'll take whatever I can get. I got a propane. Guy comes around the corner and says, yeah, we do. Yeah, we, we refill RV tanks. She's like, since when? A lot of misinformation. But in order to get to it, I got to unattach the car and back the RV in there. I'm getting good at this. 40 seconds later, we're unhooked. It's fine. Yep, we're gonna get them both filled up here. A lot of misinformation out there. Now I wonder about all the other times that Tractor Supply has said, we can't touch an RV. Ask the propane people. Go to the back and ask the people who pump the propane. Because people up front, they don't know. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Now, I don't think we'll have to run the furnace for heat anymore. I think it's not going to freeze anymore, so we should be good. Failed it. 
and lights. And a little bit of reverse. Then just put the car into tow mode, key to ACC, hold the brake, put it in neutral, e-brake, let go, turn the key all the way to the left, wait 30 seconds for the display to go off, battery disconnect, confirm, yep, and e-brake, last step, bungee the steering wheel. Inconvenient a little, maybe, worth it, absolutely, absolutely. Now, I think because we're taking weird uh, back roads the whole way through here, we're probably not even gonna see a welcome to Tennessee sign either, but that is where we're heading. Uh, I got a location in mind because I've got plans for my next video. I'll just turn this way, listen. Didn't hear it there, so it must be the other side. We'll crank it the other way. There it is, it was there. Okay, cool. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I like to look at the wheels and make sure I didn't leave the e-brake on so I can see the rear wheels are moving. Good to go, thank you Tractor Supply. The lady at the front counter needs a little bit more training because she is just shooing away otherwise business, you know, and it doesn't make any sense, at least to me. So, yeah, lots of, lots of hills to climb and swerves to go around. It's, it's gonna be pretty for me. I probably won't film much of the actual drive up there, but uh, we're, we're heading to a uh, working dairy, guys, in Tennessee. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Tennessee welcomes you off to our right. Awesome. Love it. It's been a while, Tennessee. It has. Well, I had to pull off. I've been following this beautiful river, the Ockany River through here, and uh, I am in love with this area of Tennessee. Not a whole lot of sunshine or blue skies, but still. We're gonna get closer to that water, but it looks really green. Look at these trees, beautiful. The bees are collecting nectar from a lot of the branches there. I don't know what kind of tree it is though. Oh, it's like ivy going up the tree. Wow, look at this. Tennessee, now you're bragging. Look at the mountain cliffs on the other side of the bank. <laughs> you believe this? That rock face over there on the other side of the bridge? Oh, oh. And I've been passing a lot of recreation areas advertising white, white water rafting and tubing and stuff like that. I wonder what it would be like to spend a summer in this area of Tennessee. You know, no gators. They probably do have snakes, but uh, probably a really good spot for, for summer adventures. But I have summer plans. All right, we'll get back on the road. Yeah, it's a driving day today, guys. Luckily, just checked Victron. I, my batteries are back to 100%. Of course, we got some solar sunshine now, but also the DC to DC with the new alternator, the beefier alternator that we got in there. Buddy, stay in your lane. But yeah, th this is an interesting place for a dairy farm with tours. Like we are, we're in the city in Tennessee and we're 0.5 miles away from this dairy. Interesting location for it, but okay. I guess they must've bought a bunch of property up here. Here it is, look at all these trucks off to our right. That's the dairy. That's the Mayfield Dairy. Here's where we're turning, cool. Mayfield Dairy Farms Visitor Center right here. You guys want to go see some cows? You want to you want to learn how they how they milk the cows and run the dairy? They do tours nine to five. Don't worry, you guys are with me. Come on in. <laughs> There's old Bessie there. I don't know what her real name is. Nice udders. Nice. Yeah, home of the world's best ice cream. Says Time Magazine. Let's try it out, guys. Well, never mind. They are they are open for tours nine to five. The last tour was at three o'clock. Wish they would have mentioned that on their website and Google. They're doing their last tour right now. I guess it's an hour long tour and we missed it by about 16 minutes. Bessie, Bessie. Well, ah, it's a bummer, but let's peek around the gift store. Maybe we can find a magnet or something. They do have some magnets. I like the cow one, but it's already peeling inside the store. It wouldn't do too good in the RV. This one's kind of cool because it's 3D. 
And then I like just the simple brown pin there too. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one though. And then we can go get some ice cream. Thanks for the ice cream there, Bessie. You got me a, a mint chocolate chip. I really got myself all excited about this place ahead of time. Make your plans. Make your plans. Plans are gonna change. We'll have to hit the tour another time, I guess. So I gotta get farther up into Tennessee today. That is really good. World's best? Mm. It might be world's best. Mm-hmm. Wish I could share. It's all your fault, Bessie. False advertising. Tours daily, nine to five. Asterisk, last tour at three. Come on, man. Come on, man. If I hadn't stopped at that one park, I would have made it. Hey, I cannot believe it's actually a soft tail slim, y'all. It looks like it's newer, like 2018-ish. You just do not see soft tail slims like Black Betty is that often. Interesting. I like it. I like it. I do miss my bike. I've been keeping the lithium battery charged up. I brought the battery with me, so once a month, I put the trickle charger on the battery so that when I get back to my base camp in Arizona, I just pop the battery back in, go for a ride. Well, let's get back on the road. I need to uh, stop and get supplies. It's been a long time since I've seen a Walmart. So I, I need to stock up. Bessie, I want you to think about what you did, old girl. Made me I don't think I would have come out here uh, if I knew that I couldn't actually do the, the tour of the farms. Their farms are uh, 13 miles away. This is just their distribution center, visitor center, and where they do all their advertising for it. But where they process uh, cheese and milk and ice cream here, that part of the tour looks to be a really cool experience. Uh, like I said, make sure you're inside before 3 p.m., not 5 p.m. Uh, it is what it is, though. Let's, uh, let's keep it heading north into Tennessee. It's 72 degrees today, so we're gonna be fine. Like, like I said, I will not have to run my heater anymore. There's no chance. At night, I'm fine, just bundle up. I can make it 40, 50 degrees. What I can't do is freezing every single night. No more of that crap. So, yeah, we're good. Hey, guys, I, I got an update here. Um, I left my YouTube business card with the gal at the front counter, and uh, I told her that I, I had traveled four and a half hours. This was part of a, something I wanted to put on YouTube, and you know, I did it based on your website, and uh, really bummed I missed you, but you know, if I can talk to your manager, I think it'd be a great idea if you changed, you know, uh, tours daily nine to five, if you changed it nine to three, because it really is only nine to three if you get here after three, you know? So I wrote that on the back of the card. Well, they, they called me back. They called me on the phone and I talked to him on speakerphone and uh, great, great people. They said, you know, it's been, a, it's been a misunderstanding and that they've been battling Google. I'm like, no, I'm not talking about Google. I'm talking about your website. I, I looked on your website about tours and how much it costs. He's like, oh yeah, well, you know, we, we have somebody who does our website and we've told them multiple times that it needs to say hours of ice cream parlor, nine to five tours. And you know, so I don't think he really got what I was saying. I was like, I think it needs to be clearer. I think it needs to say tours are only, almost missed that stop sign there. Tours are only nine to three. And then he gave me a little, and I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this, but I, I, I didn't record the conversation or anything, but he said, well, look, if we advertise that it, my brakes are squealing. Well, I have been braking a lot in the mountains. That's interesting. Uh, he, he said, if I advertise that it's only nine to three, then I won't get any business between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. He wants business at the gift store, magnets, merchandise, the ice cream that's world famous, the milkshakes and all that. And so I think that it's more important for him to still get that two hours of business than it is to tell the truth and say that the tours are only nine to three. So I'm a little bummed. I appreciate the phone call and giving me information, but uh, I don't know how to help you and I don't know how to help you help your customers if, if you don't care about the feedback. So it is what it is. I've done my part, made a video and let you know Again, last time I'm gonna say it, get there before three o'clock, okay. Oh, it's so nice to finally see a Walmart. It's been over a week, guys, and I had a shopping list very, very long. And I even got lucky. I picked a county here that does not is not dry, so I could get alcohol. I got a lot of groceries to put away. Uh, before I put it all away, though, 
me show you what I got, since today didn't really work out how I planned. I mean, this video was supposed to be a lot different, a lot longer, and a lot more interesting, and I'm just kind of left with this huge blank space, but I have a lot of people after I go visit a store, they're like, Eric, show us what you got. And I'm like, that doesn't seem very interesting, but some people are interested. What does a single 41 year old traveler need after one week on the road living full time in an RV? So I'll show you. <laughs> Popcorn, extra toasty Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its. Need some bread, need some more jelly. Got some more movie theater popcorn, tater tots, some corn dogs. Uh, four of these Marie Calendar instant uh, microwavable TV dinners, some tombstone pizza, some honey smoked ham, uh, chips. I got three different Pringles, and I always say if you're in an RV, guys, don't get bags of chips. If you can, at least get the Walmart brand, but get, get the chips that are in a tube, because once you throw these up in the cupboard, stuff falls on it and breaks all the bags, but these stay good in an RV. Uh, just, a, just a little tip there for you. Uh, do we get any cat food? Uh, no, we didn't need any cat food, Opie. We're, we're, we're good on cat food. Uh, and then I got a cold 24 pack of bush light to put in the fridge right now. I got a warm one for later and another 24 pack of uh, Coke Zero. Again, I don't think that's very interesting, but, but, but there you go. Let me put some groceries away and I'll get back to you here later tonight. All right, and additionally, you know, viewers, Eric, why do you always pick green? Why is everything always green when you can, when you have a multitude of any color you want out of like 2000 different shades? Well, I like green, first of all, but also I, I always have a problem with these LED strips. Now, the XK Glow ones that are underneath the body of the RV and the car and Black Betty and my trailer and all that, they work great. Modified Auto up in East Alton, Illinois, we'll be seeing them soon. They do great work and their stuff all has a lifetime warranty. However, the cheap LED strips inside my RV, they have a problem. Uh, as you can see, they only work awesome when they're set to green, unfortunately. I'm gonna show you right now. If I switch this one over to white, let me show you. Yeah, it's pretty much white. Oh, wait a minute, that's purple. There's a purple stretch right there. There's a yellow patch right there. There's a red patch under there, followed by two more yellow patches and then some white. If we flip the other section over to white, we're okay here. But then same thing in the bedroom, purple, yellow and purple for some reason. It's just, now this is something that I have battled with with every RV that I've had that I've put these strips in that I get on Amazon. For some reason, after a certain while, they, they just go bad. And I don't know why, uh, but if it's green, it's, it's the best looking. And, and I think green fits my lifestyle. It fits the statement that I'm trying to say. Even though I have a blue car and blue stripes on my RV, I'm a, I'm a green color LED guy. And that's just, that's just the way I do it. Isn't that right, Tara? We, we really like green, don't we? All right, girl. Hope he's already passed out. <laughs> Go back to sleep, buddy. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out, guys. I'm gonna do some urban boondocking here at the Walmart here in Tennessee and then get on the road and new adventures coming in the next video. Thanks for joining me. It's all good. It all worked out. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.